What is up my buttery biscuits? So in today's video, which by the way, okay, because I forgot to say, I know I said it like a month ago, no, maybe like three weeks ago, something like that, before I went to Mexico. Um, I said that I was gonna start uploading Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but I don't even know if you guys have noticed for the past two weeks, I didn't even say it, but I've been uploading Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, I'm really bad with commitment. I guess that's why I can't stay in a relationship to save my life. I'm um, just kidding. Um, but I didn't want to like fully commit to it, but I feel like I'm good right now. I feel like I'm good, but I just don't want to keep promises. But for now, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So that way you guys have a set schedule. I know that's easier because um, a lot of people still don't have their post notifications turned on. So y'all don't get notified when I upload a new video. So... Here it is. Um, it's a Friday right now, and I am going to be doing my makeup with old, old makeup. Like, one of the things that I have inside here is literally one of the first makeup products. Where did it go? Um, literally one of the first makeup products that I have ever purchased, this MAC mattifying primer which i'll explain in the video i thought it was something totally different when i first bought it but i bought this when i was 18 years old which was almost 12 years ago that's how old this is and i have some other busted items in here that are like eight years old you guys i am going to be using lady gaga's mac nude lipstick i don't know if you guys remember this but this was such a big hit it came out in 2011 and I have it ever since then. I haven't even used it though, actually, because I kept it in the package. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna keep it as a collector's item. And then I'm just like, you know what? It's starting to smell real bad, so let me put it on my lips, which is so stupid, but I'm just gonna do it, you know, just to try to use old ass makeup. And let me keep it real, I've used old makeup before. Um, as far as like eyeshadow and stuff like that, but foundations, I try to not use so much old stuff. I was gonna say, shh, I'm, oh, I got, I'm trying to, to tone down my cussing, okay? Which is gonna throw me off even more because I'm just so used to cussing, but I'm gonna try to tone it down. Um, the two things I would say that I really try to like keep up to date with are my foundation and mascara and primer um, or moisturizer, you know, things like that, obviously. But um, eyeshadow, I truly just feel like it doesn't really expire, but I'm gonna be using, oh my God, this guy right here from the uh, Moschino Sephora collection. You guys, I don't know if you guys remember this, it came out two years ago or maybe over two years ago. Um, which it says that it's expired already, but I'm gonna be using this today. This was such a beautiful palette I loved it so much. So we're gonna be giving it another go today um, So anyways, if you guys want to see this disaster say a little prayer for me I'm a little nervous about my skin because recently um, Two weeks ago my friend had did my makeup and she used the LA girl foundation You know what's so weird is I liked the way it looked on my skin I was like, oh wow, and this is only like four dollars or something and I'm not kidding you as I'm wearing it I start breaking out like literally that fast the next day, I think I had like four monster pimples and I'm like, damn, it's from that foundation because my skin has been completely good until I wore that and I know it for sure. So uh, say a little prayer for me, you know? Say a little prayer for me. Um, because I am really nervous about this right now, but I'm just doing it just to test, you know? Just create some fun content, some some interesting content for you guys. Um, even though I'm sure we all have used expired makeup before. Anyways, you guys, let me shut up because I just talk too much. I talk too much and I should have a talk show because I don't know how to shut up. Up. Damn. Um, so if you guys are new here, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, the subscribe button. And then if you guys are already subscribed, or if you just subscribed, hit the bell, Taco Bell, little notification thing so that way you guys get notified when I upload a new video. But if you guys don't want to do that, Monday, Wednesday, Friday has been working pretty good for me. I can't keep no promises though, but Monday, Wednesday, Friday have been pretty good. So I'm going to try to keep it up. So anyways, you guys, um, if you guys are interested in seeing me do my full face of expired makeup then go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so as you guys can tell, my brows are actually already done. I didn't have any expired brow products, but what really sucks is two weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago, I was semi-cleaning, organizing a little bit, my makeup drawer, and there was an Anastasia dip brow in there, which was so old, it was just completely dry and cracked. And I should have saved it. I wish I would have saved it because I could have used it for this video. But just in case you guys do have an old dip brow and it's like an emergency, you can't afford a new one, um, you need something to use right then and there, you guys just use a little bit of the um, brow wax that comes in. You know the little brow wax that comes in like a brow kit? Or you guys can use a little drop of oil. It's going to like bring it back to life and make it usable again. And I would have liked to have shown that to you guys, but I threw it away like a dumbass. So, uh, my brows are already done. So, what I'm gonna be doing is starting off by priming. <laughs> Wait till you guys see this right now. Oh my gosh. Um, 
why the helicopter coming right now? Oh my god. Um, what I'm gonna be doing right now is priming my eyes, you guys. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. You know, my camera's not the best because I'm a poor bitch. But I'm gonna try to get it to see up close of how, but there's hair in there. I'm gonna be taking the MAC Paint Chili Paint Pot and y'all, focus girl. Hello? Hello? Oh my God, it is terrible at focusing. Oh, there we go. There we, do you guys see this right now? <gasps> oh my Jesus. Hello, you're gonna focus, thank you. Um, this is, I can't believe I'm gonna put this on my eyes. Okay, I have a feeling I'm gonna regret this, but I just have to think it's just for the video. Do it for the views. Ain't no one gonna watch this. Ain't no one asked me to do this video, so I already know ain't nobody gonna watch it. Um, which by the way, let me know if somebody else has done this before. I haven't really seen it, but kudos to whoever has done it. I'm sure it's been done already by now, but um, I'm a little nervous, so we're just gonna... Okay, I don't think this is gonna be possible. I don't think this is going to be... <gasps> it is completely... Oh my God, it's as hard as a rock. <gasps> nope. Oh my God, I'm not gonna be able to do that. No, I wanted to use. Okay, I wonder if I, oh, mm, damn. You know what, I'm gonna try wet it a little bit. You guys, I just put some setting spray in there and water and nothing is coming up on the brush. Nothing. <gasps> it is just that dry. It's just that, I can't even. Oh my god, I wish you guys can feel how hard I'm pushing and nothing is coming up on my finger. Okay, well, that kind of sucks because this is one of the oldest products that I have in this video and one of the ones that was going to be really daring of me to use, so um, we're just going to cancel that out. Um, I'm going to be taking this extremely old Makeup Forever concealer, you guys. Do you guys see that? Like... Look how busted, this, my camera sucks. I can't wait to get a good one, but they're expensive. Um, this says that it has a six month shelf life. And you guys, I know for a fact, Makeup Forever sent me um, PR, like a bomb PR package, maybe three years ago. Th I would say three years ago. And um, that has to be this old, or that has to be that, this has to be that old. Oh my God, why can't I say that sentence? Um, so this is gonna be my primer. So let's just go in with this and I'm gonna use this as, oh, you know what? I'm gonna use something else as my concealer too. So this is gonna be my, oh, my eyeshadow primer and hopefully it does the job. I have a feeling that my eyeshadow is gonna look busted, but I'm gonna give it the best go and just try to um, make it work here. But um, this is like really, really patchy, really patchy, but hey, you know, it's okay. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the uh, first Ben Nye luxury powder in Cameo that I've ever had. And let me tell you guys, okay, when I first bought this, cause you guys are probably like, why do you still have it? And look how low it is. Um, I was so, I loved it so much. I was so scared of running out of it. So I was just like, oh my God, I, had to keep, I gotta keep this for good occasions because I like the way it made my skin look. So I'm like, let me use my other powders to set my face with cause this was my favorite powder and I didn't want to run out of it and I didn't want to go buy a new one. So I was like, let me save it. And it just ended up sitting there forever. And that's another thing that like, I was talking about this on one of my live videos where I I was like, you know what? You buy an expensive product, like there's, oh this, perfect, right here. This Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enrich Face Base. Okay, this you guys, I bought years ago and it's like literally almost still full and I really, really liked it. Um, and I just didn't use it because I was like, oh, I'm only gonna use it on good occasions. You know, you use your best foundation, your best primer and stuff on good occasions. I mean, unless you rich, rich, but I'm not. Um, and then it just ends up sitting there and then it ends up expiring. So that's kind of stupid. So that's exactly what happened to this cameo. And I know you guys are sitting there right now and saying, bitch, that cameo powder is like 15 bucks. Yes, I know, but that just lets you know how broke I was. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of, a little bit of this on my, uh, in the cap actually, that actually has a hair in it. There's a hair in there. I don't know whose hair, oh, it's my dog's hair, I can tell. Yep, it has red at the tip and brown at the bottom. Okay, and I'm just gonna say, oh, this concealer looks bad. 
Okay, I'm just gonna set that though before we do the shadow. Okay, so I got my eyes all primed. I'm gonna be going in with the shade Mesmerize in this Moschino Bear palette. You guys, this is another thing too that I didn't want to use because I'm like, oh my god, it's like a collector's item and I thought this was the cutest damn palette. And you guys, I literally waited in line to buy this palette. Um, it was from Sephora. I was like, I don't know. I got there at like 8 o'clock in the morning. There was a line outside the door. And I was like, damn, because everyone was raving about it so much. And the line was just insane that I was just like, oh my god. I was so glad that I got there early because um, I was able to get one. And oh, I really, really loved it. The formula and colors of this palette were super good. So let's see how it is now. So I'm taking my MAC 224 with Mesmerize once again. And I'm going to take that up in the crease. Um, what I'm going to do today is just do like a burgundy with a blue on the lid. Um, but I'm not going to be cutting my crease because I need to change it up and stop cutting my crease. Even though... Like, honestly, you guys, eyes like mine low-key just look so much better with a cut crease. Okay, honestly, this is already blending out good. Like, you see, I don't think eyeshadows really expire in my personal opinion. Because I'm like, hold up, this is blending out good already. Okay, I don't know if I'm crazy. But, I mean, I remember this palette working good. I did a review on it, um, and I really, really liked it. But I don't know if I'm crazy, but I'm like, right now, it is blending out, like, better than I remember. Okay, so that is blended out really, really pretty. I like it. I'm going to be going in with the burgundy shade, which is called Fantasy. Um, you guys, so what I want to do today is, like, super simple, like, burgundy in the crease, blue on the lid, and call it a day because... I want to show you guys that it could be really easy to do pops of color because I know everyone sticks to their neutrals because they're like scared of how to blend out color. So we're going to keep it really simple today. Burgundy in the crease, blue on the lid, and that's it. So we have that transition shade and I'm going to be taking this right up in the crease. You know what? This is actually blending out really good even with the concealer looking so busted and patchy. Like... I don't know, the formula of this was really good. Maybe it's like wine, you know, and it gets better with time because I'm sitting over here like this is blending out so easy. And that's really, really nice. All right, then I'm also going to be taking this same shade in my outer corner, just right here. And I'm going to pack it on and then just kind of buff it back up with the crease. Okay, then I'm gonna go in with like this blue-brown shade. This is how simple this tutorial is. Oh my god, that picked up a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the blue-brown, but I may mix the um, navy blue on top of it. I'm not, I don't know if I'm feeling like blue-blue or just semi-blue. So what I'm gonna do right here is literally just take this on the, oh no, actually I think I'm gonna just stick with this blue right here. Yeah, this is really pretty. Okay, you guys, why is this so pigmented? Like, um one little swipe and bam i'm like hold up does this be get, does this get better with time because this is really good right now i'm sitting here like uh it's working really good and then i'm gonna get pink eye tomorrow i regret it okay so you know what i do want a little bit more blue so i'm gonna be going in with what is that called nightlife and then placing that on top so kind of mixing those two together oh yeah, yeah yeah that looks good you know what i will say though is it's actually not sticking to the eye very good for the shimmery shade, it's kind of like just falling right off. I'm like, I pack it on and it falls off. I don't know if that's maybe because of the concealer. Maybe I should have left my lid a little bit wet uh, rather than setting it so much, but I don't know. But anyways, I got that blue on there. Then I'm gonna go back in with my brush here. And I don't know if you guys can see this harsh line. I'm just gonna go ahead and take this right on top of that to help blend it out a little bit because I don't want it harsh. Okay, so that is it for that eye. I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye off camera. Super, super simple just to show you guys. You guys can use a little bit of color in your eyes and be super quick and easy. I literally just did that eye in five minutes, so the whole total of eyes would take 10 minutes. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye and I'll come right back. All right, so moving on to the scary part of this video. Um, <laughs> Like I said, this was one of the first products I ever bought when I was 18. Um, so literally almost 12 years ago. I'm almost 30 now. So um, I'm going to use this as my primer. Um, this is the mattifying primer. And let me tell you, like I said in the uh, beginning of the video, 
the whole reason why I brought this, um, bought this, sorry, not brought this, bought this is because um, when I was first getting into makeup, learning how to do eyeshadow, one of my old friends had showed me mixing this with pigments, like creates such a bomb pigmented shadow. So even till this day, that's where I learned the techniques of like mixing mediums before mixing mediums was like even a thing. Um, when you take a pigment and mix it with the mixing medium, this acted as the mixing medium. So um, yes, <laughs> oh my, God. you got, Oh my god, I want you guys to see. Oh, I don't know if it'll focus. It's like black around the rim. Oh my, hello? My camera sucks, you guys. Why I gotta be poor? Why I gotta be poor? It don't focus, but... Oh my god, there's like black shit around the... Okay, you know what? We're doing it. I committed to this video. I'm doing it. Okay, Loki, it's... Oh, hey, there's little black things in there, too. Um, you know what? It may be from a pigment that I mixed with it, but we're just going to go with it. So I'm going to rub this all down my T-zone. This is the primer. Oh, I'm going to break out. I'm going to break out. I'll update you guys in my next video um, how bad I broke out. And I'm really hoping that I don't, but I'm just kind of like, I'm going to break out. I already know it. Like, if I broke out from that LA Girl concealer, I mean foundation, like, within, you know, wearing it for an hour, barely, then this right here, oh god. So this product right here, it does have silica in it, I believe, which actually is one of the reasons why I even like didn't even want to put it in my face in the first place, is because for my skin back then, I know this is a long time ago, my skin has obviously probably changed, um, but the silica just kind of like clogged my pores, so. Whatever, that's on there. So, um, let's go ahead and go in with the foundation. Now, I'm gonna be taking <laughs> two foundations, one, I did a review on this a long time ago, and I actually really liked this spray foundation from Sephora. It actually has a full-on expiration date at the bottom. So it had expired in September um, of 2018. I don't know if this will want to focus on that. But I'm going to be taking that and the Matchmaster foundation, which... <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, okay, it doesn't even need to focus on that. Y'all can just see that. It's like separated, like all the emollients are sitting separate from the pigment this is gonna be bad um where is my okay the reason why i have this specific beauty blender okay obviously this is not expired but i want to tell you guys something just in case you guys like weren't on my live um like i don't know i went live i don't know a couple days a, a week ago maybe with roman and this is actually one of the first products that when i started watching youtube literally when i was 18 um I wanted to buy this beauty blender and I found a like salon that was selling them at the time and Roman actually went with me to go get this beauty blender. I got it when I was 18 and it's 12 years old and you guys, I'm not kidding you, this has held up ever since then. It still looks good. So I'm gonna be taking this. Um, I'm gonna start off <laughs> with the Matchmaster. Oh, this is in the shade 1.5, which like, I don't know if you guys have ever tried these foundations. I really like them, but they oxidize a lot. So that's why I'm thinking I'm going to use the, um, oh, okay. You know what? I just pumped it. It doesn't look so bad. I was thinking it was going to be like chunky and stuff and it's not. Um, anyways, I'm, oh, you know what? Actually, this may be light enough. Let's see how it is. It smells like full on paint, like straight up paint. Wow. Actually, you know what? That reminds me of working at Mac. That smell really does remind me. It's crazy Studio Fix. If you guys have Studio Fix and you guys haven't smelt it in a long time, you guys tell me it don't smell like paint, like straight up paint. Okay, actually this foundation, it's not looking so bad. Um, besides, it is really, really white, but it's okay. We'll just put on a lot of bronzer. Um, by the way, I don't have an expired bronzer. So that's one of the things. Um, bronzer and my eyebrows, those are the only two things actually. Everything else I have that's extremely expired. Um, but those two things, no. But I'll just put on a lot of bronzer to even this out because I was thinking it was going to be too dark but let's see how it oxidizes um so I'm just going to go in with this side now and then I'm going to shut up for a little bit okay so this is going to be like way too light for my forehead but it's okay like I said we're just going to use a lot of bronzer uh because I've already committed to this foundation so we're rolling with it rolling 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 down the river okay so I literally look like Edward from Twilight right now. You know what? <sighs> Let me see. This is one of the concealers that I was going to use for my... Oh, no. This is 1.5 also. I think it's going to be too light. You guys, I have this super old... <laughs> 
<laughs> Anastasia, oh look, look at how I look when the white is in there. <gasps> oh my god, that is so bad. I have this super old Anastasia Beverly Hills sample. Let me keep it over here because oh my god, I am looking like Uncle Fester right now. Um, I have this which I got years ago, um, and it's just a little concealer sample. And I'm gonna be taking the shade 1.5, and you know what? Hopefully that's gonna mix with this and make this foundation a little darker i don't really think so but we're gonna give it a shot um i don't know if anastasia still does this but this is really cool that they did this uh okay why is there like a hair up in there like i just i literally just opened that there's a hair in there whatever i'm putting somebody else's hair on my face um so i'm gonna take this this is the concealer actually i'm just taking it right on the tip and i'm gonna take it as my Okay, yeah, that's too light, too. So, you know what? You guys are just gonna have to see me looking like Uncle Fester until I put some bronzer on, because this is horrendous right now, but I'm gonna I'm work it out, okay? I'm gonna work it out. Ooh, oh, this is looking so bad. You know what I just remembered, though? I do have a old C5 Studio Fix powder, which is the color that I used to be uh, a couple years ago. So, you know what? I'm gonna go get that powder, and I'm gonna use that to set my face with. But you know what, first things first, uh, let me just go ahead and set this with my old Cameo powder, which you guys already know I already used. Y'all know how old that is. Uh, I'm just gonna set underneath my eye and my forehead because the wrinkles are bad, like real bad. And I'm gonna go get the, oh, I cannot believe how. Okay, I was thinking 1.5, like it oxidizes a lot. I was thinking it was gonna be fine. This is not fine. This is really, you know what it looks like when you put like sunscreen on your face and it's like really, really white. It gets like a like gray cast on your face. That's what I look like right now. Okay, I'm gonna run and get that Studio Fix powder cause I need some color in my life. Y'all tell me why I thought that I had, <laughs> that is so bad. Um, I thought that I had some powder left in here and I sure don't except for the, the like rim. But you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just scrape it up out of there. I'm gonna take this brush. Um, and just try to get as much from the sides that I can before putting on my bronzer because I look busted right now, like beyond busted. Okay, so putting that uh, Studio Fix C5 on top did not help, but I'm gonna be going in with my MAC um, bronzer. This, <sighs> okay. I feel like my eyes are like fine, you know? But my skin right now, it's not looking bad, it's just because of the color, you know? But. I don't have, that's what I have that's expired. I guess, you know, at one point in time, I used to just be a 1.5. I'm like, you know what's really, really weird? I don't know if you guys are familiar with MAC colors, but I can literally go from a C3 to a C6 just from being out in the sun, like, I don't know, maybe two or three days. It's crazy, I don't understand. So I think at one point I was just like really, really pale. Um, actually, yeah, way back when, I used to like never go out in the sun, so, that's probably why I have that and I was thinking that it was gonna be fine because it low-key like oxidizes a lot and Right now guess what it's not doing oxidizing so Maybe because it's old. I don't know, but uh, I'm just gonna like kind of take this powder um, everywhere because I'm just looking like deathly right now and I kind of wanted to, you know, do a good job with this because let's all keep it real. We've all used some expired makeup before. Okay, I feel like it looks so much better now. Okay, I look a little bit more back to life. Underneath my eyes is still a little bit too light, but it's all good. So I'm gonna be taking the shade Mesmerize, which is the same shade that I took in my uh, crease. And I'm gonna be taking that underneath my eye with a little pencil brush here. And basically I'm gonna do the same thing on the bottom that I did on the top and I'm actually gonna be taking an expired lip liner in my waterline so say a little prayer for me because um, I'm a little scared for that but I don't have an expired eyeliner so I'm all we just gonna use an expired lip liner because I just want to put my eyes in as much danger as possible so that's what I'm doing here all right then I'm gonna be going in with the shade fantasy which is the burgundy and I'm just gonna be actually mixing that right on top of that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do my inner tear duct right now. Um, I'm gonna be taking the shade Angel Wings, which is just a shimmery pink. And I'm just gonna pop this right here, which still pigmented, okay. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do the uh, same thing to my other side and put on some lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, so I put on some lashes and I'm stupid and I put the liner on um, off camera, but I'm gonna be using the same liner on. 
Oh my God, I just got a hiccup out of nowhere, excuse me. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and um, use the same liner on my lips. So this is Curvy. Um, this is the I Love uh, Sarahi um, collection with ColourPop, which came out a couple years ago. And you guys look, do you guys see that? How it like slides out because it's like so dry and you could tap it back in. I'm sure you guys have some pencils like that too. <laughs> um, so anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this Buxom Mascara. Actually, I completely forgot all about this mascara. Um, as every mascara, they are good for six months and this is something that you don't really wanna play around with, but you know what, for the sake of the video, we're just gonna do it because um, I wanna see what happens, you know, which is like so bad, but um, it's okay, you know, if I get pink eye, been there, done that, already had it. So um, we're just gonna go ahead and roll with it and see what happens. This is um, old, um, two years old, I just said that. Um, but you guys are probably wondering why I have so much expired makeup and I'm gonna just be real with y'all. I am lazy, I don't know how to organize. Um, I very rarely clean out my drawers unless it's kind of like the top drawers that I go into the most and everything down at the bottom just sits in there. So that's why I have all this stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this mascara on right now. Let's see how bad it, okay, like honestly, it doesn't even look that bad. It doesn't even look that clumpy or anything. So I don't know why I wanna smell it. It doesn't smell bad. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on and then I'm gonna put a lot on the bottom and then put some on the bottom. Oh, this still works good. This this mascara is actually really good. I completely forgot all about it. Um, okay, if this doesn't give me pink eye, I'm gonna use it again. Cause I really, really like this mascara. This is good mascara. Um, as you guys know though, forever, oh my god. My favorite has always been Makeup Forever Excessive Lash. I love that one. I just hadn't got a new one in a long time, but I need to because I miss that mascara. It's so bomb. Okay, so it actually got extremely clumpy on this eye, but whatever, it's all good. Um, so what I'm going to do now is go ahead and do my lips. And like I said in the beginning of the video, um, this Lady Gaga lipstick that I'm going to be using is from 2011, if you guys know. Um, it came out... Um, for Viva Glam Mac 2011, uh, and I actually already smelt this lipstick, you guys, and it smells like a straight up Crayola crayon. Y'all know that smell, so if you guys have a old mascara, I mean old mascara, old lipstick, you guys know the smell. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with this curvy uh, lip liner, and then I'll blend it in with the Lady Gaga, and I'm going to take a really funky looking lip gloss on top, which I'll show you guys in a bit. Okay, so I have my lips all lined. I am going to be taking this forever old <sighs> Lady Gaga lipstick. How come it doesn't have the little shelf life on this? I want to say this is six months as well, too. It doesn't say maybe it's on the actual product. Um, no, it's not on there either. I don't know, but here we go. The Lady Gaga nude, which has literally never been used until right now. The Straight up old makeup crayon. Uh, let's see how this is on top of this. Oh. <laughs> Ew, it tastes like just old makeup. Like, ugh. oh my God. The, the, okay, this was a bad idea. Okay, this is like so nude, but it's all good. I'm gonna mix it in with a pink gloss. Uh, it tastes so nasty. Like, can anyone let me know? I know I'm a little stupid, but can anyone let me know if there's taste buds on your lip? Because like, obviously I know it's right in your mouth, but why is it that if you put something on your lips, you taste it? Like I didn't lick my lips, so what the hell? Uh, maybe just breathing it in, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna leave this kind of busted because I'm gonna go ahead and blot it like that. And then, ew, I wish you guys could smell it. As soon as I have smell-o-vision, y'all. Oh, I'm gonna put that through. So I'm gonna be using this ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip Gloss, which I don't even think I ever even used. Um, I don't know the shelf life on these either, but hopefully you guys can see. No, I don't think you guys will be able to see. In person, it's just separated and gross. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this on top, I'm gonna smell it. Oh my God, like so much pigment literally just came out of that. Okay, this smells weird. Oh, okay. You know what? I'm gonna put this on just for a little bit and do the outro and wipe it right off because I'm gonna get a little nervous because, like, I don't know. Maybe I'm like, I've smelt this like old lipstick before, but I've never smelt this. So I'm kind of like, do I really want to put it on my lips? 
Okay, screw it. I'm putting on my lips. Whatever. YOLO, YOLO, YOLO. We're gonna mix it in. Oh, this is actually a pretty color. Ew. This tastes weird. It really tastes weird. Ugh. Okay, but why did this make such a bomb nude pink lip combo? Like, do you guys see that? That's a bomb ass nude lip combo. I really like it. Oh my god, but... The taste knows gross. I need to like hurry up and wipe it off. Okay, so that completes this. Um, you know what? Highlight. Oh, I don't have an expired highlight. So you know what? We're just not going to highlight. Um, one more thing. Final step. I have this old ass Too Faced setting spray. Look at the bottle. It is so gross. Let's just go ahead and, you know, spray some of this on our face. Ay, so much is leaking off at the top. Ooh. Okay, Loki, that still smells bomb. Oh, I love the smell of that. Um, even though we're not supposed to be using Too Faced, but oh my god, you guys, I can't keep up with all these canceled brands. I really can't. Ugh. Well, anyways, you guys, so that completes my full face of expired makeup. To give you guys the full rundown, nothing really feels like gross like my skin doesn't feel gross I'm, it's not burning it's not itching my eyes are totally fine i felt like the shadows blended out completely fine but honestly you guys i i really in my honest opinion i don't feel eyeshadows expire i really don't they're powder and i don't know um the foundation doesn't feel weird uh mascara doesn't feel weird even the eyeliner in my eye doesn't feel weird the only thing that is bad is the taste of this lip gloss and lipstick i want to take it off so bad right now so um, i'm rushing with this outro and i'm not gonna be talking a lot so if you guys like this video make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up let me know what you guys think about this what is the oldest makeup product that you guys have used i really want to know and be honest because y'all know clearly i just use a damn 12 year old primer on my face so y'all can just let me know any number i really am curious because i know a lot of people have expired makeup because you're kind of like oh it's there let me just use it you know so anyways you guys i'll catch you guys in my next video peace out girl scout